Ipswich were out of sight. Luton, to be fair, were out of sorts. One of the Luton players, Sol Davis, mysteriously had a stroke on the team bus before the game. Quite how it affected his teammates, no one will know. But the Hatters were clearly lacklustre, and Ipswich made hay and how. Ipswich had Peters and Lee in their side. Sadly for Luton, it wasn't the late Lenny and the lovely Diane. After Legwinski had given Ipswich a leg upski, Jamie Peters scored his first for the club, and Alan Lee got a hat trick as the Blues delivered a bunch of five. With Sol Davis lying in hospital, Luton understandably just didn't have the fist for the fight. And now to our second 5 0 scoreline. Norwich City fans, look away now, and hey, no peeking, you'll have nightmares. The Canaries were caned by Stoke City, five of the best where it hurts. The new manager, Peter Grant, it was painful viewing as fast as the autumn leaves fall. Injuries are stacking up at Norwich, and if he didn't know before, Grant knows now there's work to be done. The players understood that it was what they wanted from them. We showed them, we told them, we spoke about it. Now you've got to practice when the bus goes, and we didn't do that on Saturday. As I say, half time, I wasn't a very happy man. 